And an alleged attack behind bars now has three guards facing federal charges. Good afternoon. Those three prison guards were indicted by a federal grand jury in connection with the beating of an inmate at the Metro Detention Center last year. News 13's Diana Saceda has the story. Well, Diane, the guards face various charges from violation of civil rights to obstruction to falsifying records. This is surveillance video taken last December at MDC. The victim, according to the FBI investigation, is Christopher Shields. He was being booked for aggravated DWI and was taken into the photo room. The surveillance cameras show jail guard Demetrio Gonzalez getting in Shields' face, then slamming him against the wall. At one point, Shields tried to push the six foot four, nearly 300 pound guard off of him, but Gonzalez is seen kneeling Shields again and again. Other guards get involved. They usher him into the shower room, a room without cameras. Those guards are Kevin Casaus, Matthew Pendley, also named in the federal indictment. Now, 39 year old Gonzalez is charged with violation of civil rights. 23 year old Kevin Casaus also faces violation of victim's civil rights and obstruction of justice. And then 25 year old Matthew Pendley is charged with obstruction of justice and tampering. The U.S. attorney says the case against these guards sends a message. Nobody should be treated with this level of brutality that we allege. Um, and it certainly is not tolerated when it's undertaken by people who are charged um, to do a job, um, which is really to protect the public uh, and to protect the public that they have custody of. A fourth guard, Manuel Marquez, was not named in the federal indictment because the U.S. attorney said there was no evidence of him participating in unlawful conduct, but MDC did fire him. Gonzalez and Penley were terminated by MDC back in March. Casaus was just put on administrative leave through July 3rd after MDC learned of the indictment. Diane, back to you. All right, thank you, Deanna. Conviction on the civil rights violations carries a maximum of 10 years in prison and a quarter of a million dollar fine. Obstruction of justice charges also carry a quarter million dollar fine, but a maximum of 20 years in prison.